Our legs tell so much about our health. And if you're experiencing delayed healing, varicose veins, peripheral artery disease, poor circulation, swelling, aching, cramping, then this video is for you. I'm gonna put you through many different exercises. I wanna explain the benefits of what you can do for your health to prevent problems with the veins and arteries in your legs to get you feeling better so you can walk longer, live healthier, and be happier. And poor circulation leads to varicose veins, potential blood clots, peripheral artery disease, delayed wound healing, nerve damage. And you wanna practice these exercises because this will help reduce swelling in your feet and ankles. It will decrease the risk of blood clots. It will improve your overall vascular health. You're gonna get better nutrients, oxygen to the tissues as well as reducing that leg fatigue and cramping. And if you're sitting long periods of time, even while watching TV, traveling in a car, in an airplane, experiencing swelling, then this video is definitely going to help you, I promise. We're gonna focus primarily with our feet. Why gravity pushes everything down. The job for our feet and our legs is to pump that excessive swelling, inflammation, as well as circulation back up to the heart. Our veins have one valve going one way. And if we sit for long periods of time, the pooling of our blood, as well as swelling, extra sodium you may be having in your diet, that extra fluid starts to pull downwards. You start to swell, start to ache, start to cramp. It affects your gait. It can cause varicose veins. It's so important that when we're sitting, we want to utilize these muscles, and that's what we're gonna to do today. And the most simplest thing to start out with is just putting your front of your feet down and lifting your heels. Just pump your calves just like this. And I want you to do all these exercises for about 30 seconds. You're gonna pick and choose the ones that work best for you, but I promise you, you do these exercises, you're gonna see miracles in good health in your body. Put your hands behind your calves, feel them constrict, feel them contract. As those calves contract, it squeezes on the veins, allowing the circulation to come upwards towards the heart. Remember, if we don't utilize the muscles, the fluid pulls downwards, causing more stress on our cardiovascular system. Now we're gonna do some toe heel rockers. Start from the toe, you end up on the heel. This is the way it looks, just like this. The reason why you wanna do this, if you put your hands on the front of your legs, the tibialis anterior, anterior tibialis muscle in the front is gonna squeeze, it's gonna contract. This is one of the most weakest muscles in our body, believe it or not. And if you're having problems with your gait, while you're walking, you notice your toe keeps hitting the ground and you feel like you're gonna fall over, you need to do this exercise. This is excellent for the anterior tibialis. Bring the toes up. As the heels stay down, again, all exercises, 30 seconds. And to mobilize any fluid, increasing more circulation, just putting your foot out in front of you and going in a clockwise motion, just going in a circular motion, 30 seconds. And after 30 seconds, you're gonna go counterclockwise. You're gonna definitely wanna do both feet this is extremely beneficial for you, utilizing a multitude of different muscles, as this will help increase circulation as well. And get a tennis ball or any ball and put it underneath your foot. I want you to roll it back and forth. You're stimulating the plantar fascia. People talk about plantar fasciitis, when our arch drops down, if you're having pain underneath the foot, but pain or no pain, this is all about circulation, stimulating those nerve endings. These nerve endings under the foot help work with the brain, help stimulate the circulatory system to get that blood flow, that swelling, that circulation moving again throughout our body. You're gonna to wanna to do 30 seconds and do both feet. And now we're gonna do inversion, eversion. What we're gonna do is we're gonna open the feet up like this together. We can do them both together and you come back this way. As you're just rocking your knees apart, just like this, as you come apart together, this is extremely good for you. Why? Because you're utilizing your whole entire legs. You're utilizing the hips. You're internally and externally rotating the hips. You're internally and externally rotating the lower part of the feet. 
as well as utilizing different muscles on the outside and the inside of your legs. This is extremely healthy for you when you're sitting around the house, just rock it back and forth, helping your feet, your circulation, your legs, as well as your hips. And right after that, you could do knee swings. Go side to side, sitting at the edge of the couch or the chair you're on, and swing side to side. Again, internally and externally rotating the hips, putting motion in there, increasing circulation in a different fashion to help increase that blood supply, work its way up to the heart. Extremely good for you. And you'll see when you get up after this, you'll feel a difference and you're gonna walk so much better. And many of us can't run like we used to, but you can surely run when you're sitting down. And that's something we wanna do. We wanna stimulate underneath the feet. We're gonna stimulate the legs, We're gonna stimulate the circulatory system, that blood flow. And I want you to run in places, tap on your feet like this. And that vibration, that mechanical receptors, those receptors in the joints work directly with our central nervous system, working with our brain, telling our brain to turn on, let things start to heal, let things start to work better. Just run in place just like this. You can do this 30 seconds, a minute, two minutes. This is so healthy for you, so good for your circulation, and you're going to feel so much better. And lastly, the light squat. And if you have a hard time doing it, you can use your arms. You don't have to come up high off the couch. We're just gonna use our arms as if we're getting up and drop back down again. As if you're getting up and getting back down again. Utilizing our quads. This is so good for you. The quads are a large muscle in front of the thigh. And as we do so, we're stimulating that blood supply, working these muscles stimulating it, doing your best. If you want, you can get up a little higher up and go back down. But just little, short little moves like this, extremely good for you, not hard. And guess what? This is gonna make these muscles stronger. It's gonna help you get up off the seat easier. You're gonna walk better as you strengthen these muscles. Very safe and very effective. Great for circulation. Spend about 30 seconds, even up to a minute doing these. So remember, movement contracts muscles. Muscles squeeze on veins, those one-way valves, squeezing it back up to the heart. You gotta utilize the muscles. We're strengthening those muscles. It's gonna help you walk better, and you're gonna see a big difference. Pick and choose those exercises that work best for you. Do them at least four to five times weekly, even if you could do it daily if you're having problems. Here's something that will definitely help your body tremendously. Please share this video with your friends and family. Leave your comments below, and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.